you need tokens to operate the machine. Oh no! And you can only get tokens from reception. We are Carol and Ken and we like touring in our little red camper, a tiny Nissan MV200 built by Sussex Camper Vans. We mostly wild camp and like to show the scenery, van life, food and a bit of history. People tell us that we're relaxing to watch, so give us a try and see if you agree. If you do, then give us a like and hit that subscribe button for more adventures from the Little Red Camper. If you're interested in anything we use in the van, then just click the affiliate link in the description. Welcome back to the channel. In the last video, we awoke at the Golfer Viewpoint, where we managed to set off the smoke alarm whilst we were steaming our cloths. I picked a blooming awful spot to cook Carol her breakfast before we moved on to Porth Gain for a little bit of history about that harbour. We checked out the White Towers on the headland before playing a game of chicken with the local bus. Inspired by those happy days, we took a look at the Blue Lagoon and watched people jumping into the icy water. No luck? No, it's not going to work, is it? And we left you climbing the hill with a newbie driver who brought their camper van down a very narrow track. Right, hold it. Clear it up again now, isn't it? Yeah. Right, end of the day. It's a camping and caravanning club site here. It's um, not the busy one they we are. stayed at, is it? We stayed at the um, caravan and motorhome club site. We need some supplies, so we're hunting for a supermarket. And then it's the second turning on the left one-way system. It's a nicer extra now. It used to be CKs. Mm -hmm. Well, it still says CKs on it. I was a bit alarmed when I first saw these empty shelves, but apparently it's just because the uh, refrigerator is broken. You're not having any puddings? Strawberry trifle? Yeah, OK. My willpower is weak at the moment. It's like a smaller <clears> tin. <throat> All right, Charlie. We're sorted. We're all sorted, aren't we? We won't starve. Yeah. The front ball just sent across the road. Yeah, these are the kids she's talking about, aren't they? OK, you get in, I'll pass stuff to you. I think we'll have to do the water somewhere else. I don't yeah, want to do it, in, do the it road. in the road. Is it all going in? Yeah, easy. Easy peasy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Ran out of water for the first time ever today. So we got some more. But it's quite expensive here. We needed the supplies so beggars can't be choosers. Oh, now we need to find somewhere that I can top this water up. Left. I remember this I remember place. This place. Didn't we have lunch in the bishops? I think we did. And soup yeah. or something. Yeah. I can't seem to remember much these days, but I do remember yeah. where I've had a nice yeah. meal. Concentrating. Straight on. We're navigating by phone, so Carol's reading out the directions Straight for me. Down. Oh, there's no, no entry. entry hey. Alright, you've got to go left. Here and then right, and round to the right. Follow that car down to the right to the yeah. car park, and then left. This is the Bishop's Palace. Remember this straight down here, and there's some parking here on the left. Mm -hmm. He's gone. It's quite busy, isn't it? Yeah. The spaces. Pay and display. <laughs> I only want to fill up the water. If you're just filling up with water, yeah, that's what I'm doing. There was a good one, water. or up here. Yeah. You've got a good space. There are 
That's the last one here. Um, so we've got the other two litre bottle spare as well, haven't we? The one that we were the started one that we using. Already had. Yeah. yeah, that's probably got two litres still in that's it. That's going to be our spare then, so I yeah. can afford to put all of these in. Yeah, and put that one back in the boot then. There was a time when we used to carry a lot of water, but uh, it's dawned on us. You don't need to do that. It's available readily, especially if you're buying it in bottles like we do. So we keep the weight down these days. I've had my fair share of narrow roads today. Yeah, just get narrower and narrower, don't they? Yeah. We're in two minds tonight, whether to book into a campsite so that we can do some washing or wild camp and try and find a laundrette in the morning. Hmm, there's a campsite there, but it certainly looks packed and it looks to be quite slopey, so not for us. It's 40p to go to the toilet. Looked like it was four pounds for cars, I think. Yeah. We just have to drive around, yeah. yeah. It's too slopey for us, isn't it? Yeah. And then shall we go and check out the campsite? Take the easy option, do try. some washing tomorrow possibly. Possibly, yeah. They might be full of course. Well, could be. Could always just ring them. So this is White Sands Beach. Yeah, it's a lovely beach, isn't it? Very nice. It's a bit flatter down this bit. We can't see a local laundrette on Google Maps and so I think we're going to chance our arm and see if we can book into the uh, Caravan Club site. I'm packed in like sardines in this one. Yeah, I don't fancy that. Mm. Prime location for the beach. Yeah, yeah, good place to come and stay if you're a surfer. Yeah, if you're a beach yeah, bunny down on the beach all the time. Yeah. Now, will we be lucky? The site is just down here on the left and this motorhome seems to have the same idea. Just left here. He's going. Look out for any signs saying full. No tents. Your arrivals report to reception. Well, there are no campsite full signs, which is good. They might just be coming back from a day out. They might be. Two adults, yeah, and a camp van. With the red one. That, yes, it's only uh, about four and a half metres. Sorry, are you in the front one? <laughs> yes. Yes. Well, that was meant to be. What? We got the last pitch. Really? She said there's four pitches available at the moment and they're expecting three lots of people. Oh, really? So, you take this then. So, literally, it's just here. It's recording. Oh, number 51. And she said if you park facing the white peg, passenger side to the peg, yeah. the sunset will be on your front window. Okay. And you'll have some space at the side. You know, if you want to open your door and sit out. Hiya. Hi. Welcome to the site. Thank, Thank you. you. You're not putting an awning up here. No, no. no. It's in the van. All right. Yeah. Well, we're on 51, is it? 51. Yeah. Unless 51. It, is it all right just to put a canopy on? Okay, yeah. cheers. Lovely van. So just past reception, past the hut, and it's just here on the right. Okay, buddy, we can do that, can't we? That's the one, 51. Probably rain tonight anyway. We don't take much space, do we? No. Oh, well, can relax anyway. There we go, easy night tonight, Charlie. Easy night, and they have got a laundry, Good. and we don't have to be gone till 12. So we have a lie-in. Lie-in. So that was £21.44. Just checking it all out. Yeah, which isn't bad. £21.44, and Perfect. especially if we get a chance to do some laundry tomorrow. Yeah. And have showers. Yeah, it's quite a trek up to the toilet block. It's right over the other side of the pit. No. Site. That'll do us good. We'll have a yeah. walk around the site later, like we used to do yeah. in the old days. Yeah. Do you remember? 
Yeah, we have stayed here before in the caravan. Yeah. So, yeah. Any idea how long ago that was? 2016, that was. Oh, not long ago then. So, five years ago. Yeah. Yeah. So, these are some Chinese style pork kebabs that we just got from that supermarket. I hope they're nice and tasty and not too tough. Cheers. Cheers. There's your dinner. Tasty pork kebabs. Pork kebabs. Put the light on so you can see them. Mm. Yeah. Pork is absolutely delicious. It's nice and tender, isn't it? Lovely. I thought it might be a bit tough frying right. it. It might really well. Yeah. It's got plenty of coating. Yeah. Really nice. I think I must have been tired because I'm not doing a very good job of the filming on this site. We had a peaceful night and then the following morning Carol and I got up and went over to the showers and took all the washing with us. I went into the gents for a shower and Carol disappeared into the laundrette to put the washing in the machine. When I came out I went in to check that the washing was okay and then I saw that it was still in the bag in front of the washing machine. I knew something must have gone wrong, so I took the washing and brought it back to the van. The story resumes as Carol returns from her shower. You need tokens to operate the machine. Oh no. And you can only get tokens from reception. I wondered, I, 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 no, I assumed obviously something had gone wrong. So you brought the washing back? Yeah, it's up oh, here. Someone had nicked it. No. <laughs> <laughs> They'd have to be desperate, wouldn't yeah, they? Here you time. come. <sighs> so this is turning out to be a complete cock up because we might not have time now to do the washing, which was the whole reason we booked onto the site. Can't see it on there. What time Can't is see open? anything. Our reception, we're open from 8.30 and 9.30. Good job, we're early risers. So 8.30, we need to be over there. Just having bacon and egg wraps. Delicious. Okay. It's lovely bacon. Thanks very much for my wrap. You're mm. Tasty, aren't they? Mm. Yummy. That bacon's really tasty. Mmm. 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 -mm. Yeah, it's manically busy over there. Everybody, of course. Everyone wants to wash up. Everybody wants to wash up, try yeah. and get off the site. And we have to do it before the children's <coughs> close it for cleaning. Yeah, 10 30 they what close it. time to close it for cleaning. I guess they want them all spick and span for when the new people arrive. Well, I suppose they would think everyone's had their breakfast. Maybe morning. they only close the toilets, I don't know. Well, yeah, we're to... going to have to go in there and get our washing, aren't we? Whether they're closed yeah. or not. We'll have to get the washing. Hopefully it's dry now. Cloudy on the hill this morning. And a fine misty rain in the air. So on the club site, you've got to um, wear your masks whenever you're in the shower block. The wardens are obviously used to people being caught out like this as there was no trouble at all in gaining access to the block even though they were cleaning them. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Now we need to get back to the van and packed up ready to leave in time. I'd normally jump this but not with a bag of washing. Here's our tiny van. Smallest one on the site. Here's your washing, Mrs. Is it dry? It feels quite dry to me. It all feels nice and dry anyway. Yeah, it needed that third token for yeah, sure. Third cycle. Because when I put my hand in there, it felt quite damp. Yeah, so that was 45 minutes drying. Mm. Took. How long would you normally dry them at, uh, you know, a main laundry? Mm. If that, but 
those revolution ones. Really do it fast, do it don't fast, they? Fast, but then they're bigger drums. They really air. Yeah. The things. So here's the secret technique, you roll them all up, don't you Charlie? Mm. Roll them up into sausage. And they go in the packing cubes easier, don't they? Yeah. And it gets all the creases out of them as well, we hope. Otherwise, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we really worry about creases, well, do we? You can't really, can you? I don't. You're just going to have to wear it, and as you wear it, your body heats. Or yeah, it's like a... Creases internal iron you can't be precious in a little camper van the creases are coming out now so the secret is when you're packing your clothes keep one set of clean clothes that you don't wear until you want to do your drying yeah and then the day you're doing your drying you put your clean clothes on and then you can wash everything out my trousers they get a hard life don't they yeah it's the way to do it there's the guy that was asking about the roof oh yeah there's another little red van here as well. Yeah. Didn't see that last night. No. Little Reba there, look. Yeah, good morning. Miss Bailey. Is it a discovery of the new style? Yeah. Oh, an interesting parking. Good job we're a little one. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Someone saying hi. Yeah. Maybe they know us. Maybe they do. They should have come and said hello, shouldn't they? Yeah. <laughs> We wanted to have a look around St. David's, so we went back into the city and there's a market on. We're back in the same car park where we filled up the water. There are no footpaths here, so you have to be a little bit careful and pick your time for crossing this bridge. Come on, I'm not waiting it's tight, day. There's a view here that probably most people miss because of this wall. This is St. David's Cathedral. In the city of St. David's in Pembrokeshire, the most westerly point of Wales. This monastic community was founded by St. David in 589. Between 645 and 1097, this place was attacked many times by raiders, including the Vikings. One of our viewers enjoys the channel because he likes to see where his relatives used to go raiding for their holidays.
town that has a cathedral is a city and St. David's is the smallest city in population in the whole of the United Kingdom with just 1,600 residents in 2011. We just met a guy called Mark in the grounds of the cathedral at St. David's and he watched the channel, didn't want to be on video but very nice to meet you Mark. Some sort of walking group. Looks like it doesn't it? It's probably just for this, I didn't realise it was a... Oh, it's a retreat. Mm. No overnight camping. This will do us for a cup of tea. I didn't fancy another walk, so Carol will take you round. Going exploring. Down here we have St Non's Chapel and Well. And I can remember um, Helen and Carl came here roaming in Raymond, and I thought then it's somewhere I've never been. So that's why we've come here. So thanks, Helen and Carl, for the suggestion. So this is the remains of the chapel and this is meant to be the site where St Non gave birth to St David in the 6th century. Certainly in a beautiful spot with this view. Tradition says that St Non was raped by Sanctus, the King of Caridium. She went on to give birth to St David, the patron saint of Wales. There's not much of it left today. So you can see the chapel there. And then this path just connects with the coastal path where you can walk all the way around the coast of Wales. The scenery is just beautiful. Looks like they've built a new little chapel up there, and that's St. Non's Retreat. The water's really clear. On to the next stop. You can see why they've made a retreat here. Why? Well, it's so peaceful and beautiful on a day like this, looking out to sea. Yes. Yeah. So restful. Pretty. Right, we need to find somewhere to park up for the night. And we did find a very nice spot indeed. But that's going to be for the next episode. If you enjoyed this video, then please give us a like and hit that subscribe button for more adventures from the Little Red Camper.